Let's talk about two-point perspective stairs. In order to draw two-point perspective stairs, we have to remember that instead of seeing the side of the stairs or the back of the stairs or even a front view of the stairs, we're going to be seeing a corner view. So we're going to use the same technique that we used in one-point perspective, only all of our lines are going to be going orthogonal rather than horizontal. Let's get started. We're going to start out the steps by figuring out where the back of the steps are. Now what you can see are two vertical lines and two ortho orthogonal lines drawn here. That would be in one point perspective, this back line would equal that line right there. Now we're going to draw the bottom area of the steps, which in one point was a horizontal line. Being as this is two point, we obviously need to use orthogonals. So I'm going to draw two lines out of the bottom of this back wall area. So. And these lines should be going right to that vanishing point back there. We finish up with another orthogonal, which is coming from this vanishing point, like that. At this point, in one point perspective, we drew that diagonal guideline. In two point perspective, we're going to do the same thing, just like that. We can do the same thing on the other side, just like that. Now in one point perspective, we measured this first vertical line that we drew, and we divided that into equal parts. Being as this line equals this back line, we're going to do the same thing on this line. Now we're going to put in the steps. On one point, we did horizontal lines we did not draw inside of this triangle and then we drew horizontal, horizontal, horizontal and then at the top horizontal. Because we're not allowed to use horizontals and all the horizontals turn into orthogonals we now have to come out of this vanishing point through these marks in order to create our steps. So let's do that now. Once again remember it's not necessary to draw lines in this area. It'll just make you more work. You can see that I've drawn my first step now over here by going orthogonally to that vanishing point. Once again, you would not draw any of these dotted lines. Now you can see that I've drawn all of my step lines by making sure that I go from my vanishing point up here directly through one of these points and stopping out here in this area, but not too far. It's now time to draw the actual riser. In order to draw the riser, I start at the bottom and come straight up vertical. Over here, that will be a vertical as well. Then I have to go back to my red guideline and draw a vertical up again. Do that again on the other two point steps. Go up, go up, and up one more time, and up one more time. So I've now completed the steps over on the right in one point, and now all the steps are done over here in two point. Now a little bit of cleanup is a good idea gently and carefully without getting rid of the corner of the steps just clean up back to the line so that your steps look very accurate and sharp. Now comes the difficult part. We're going to have to draw perfectly orthogonal lines back to this vanishing point in order to create the steps. If any of these lines are off you'll find out about it when we finish up the last vertical and orthogonal steps. Let's get started. Obviously on an iPad this is very difficult to do well, so you're going to have to bear with me. But I am trying to draw orthogonal lines as accurately as I can. If 
Okay, you can see that the, my lines are not really going orthogonally, and that's a problem, but on this iPad, it'll allow me to show you how to draw the steps properly. On your paper, you need to make sure that all of these do go directly to the vanishing point, that is where the horizontal line and the vertical line meet. So in order to not confuse matters, I've now erased the horizon line and the vanishing points so that you can follow along with me. We're going to start at the bottom corner of our wedge. We're going to go up vertically. Then this should be an orthogonal, going back to where that red guideline is. Then vertical, then orthogonal. Okay? Let me try and get that looking a little bit more accurate. Put in my guideline again. Put in the step line. Vertical and orthogonal, and then vertical. Oops, you can see there's a problem here. And that's something that's a very common error. So let's go back and retrace our steps and see where the problem is. All right, you can see that I forgot to draw a line from here out. Before you begin doing your steps, always check to make sure that you have drawn orthogonal lines from the corner of each step and each riser. That's really important because otherwise you'll wind up drawing a vertical on the opposite side of an orthogonal and obviously that's no good. So this had to be an orthogonal. If I had left that line out it would have continued as it originally did to this line right here and that would have been wrong because the riser would have ended with something that looked like a step. But now I can continue on. Vertical, orthogonal, vertical, orthogonal. And at this point I would take my eraser and I would erase back as well as I possibly can to create a set of steps. Once again, this is very difficult to do freehand, which is why you must use your T-square, triangle, um, and uh, your uh, eraser pad to do this and do it well. So what we've drawn here now is a two-point perspective set of stairs. Go ahead and give it a try. See if you can do better than I did.